हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स दिस रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स इज एक्चुअली ऑफ टू टाइप्स वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स वन वी हैव म्यूकोजल रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स एंड वन वी हैव फुल थिकनेस रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स ओके दिस म्यूकोजल रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स इज मोस्ट कॉमनली सीन इन चिल्ड्रन मोस्ट कॉमनली वेयर एज दिस फुल थिकनेस रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स इज मोस्ट कॉमनली सीन इन एडल्ट्स नाउ इफ यू वर आस्क व्हाट आर द कॉजेस ऑफ रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स द कॉजेस ऑफ रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स इंक्लूड one we have protein energy malnutrition protein energy malnutrition then we have worm infestation the causes of rectal prolapse are protein energy malnutrition worm infestation diarrhea these are the most common causes then we have sacral agenesis and then we have meningomyelosis meningo myelosis so these are actually the least common causes sacral agenesis and meningomyelocele are least common causes whereas protein energy malnutrition worm infestation and diarrhea are most common causes now how are you going to treat this rectal prolapse rectal prolapse treatment mainly depends on the cause so you will have to treat the cause then If the if if after treating the cause if they are not responding after treating the cause, then you should you can do a surgery which is you can do low heart mammary rectopexy can be done. Low heart mammary rectopexy can be done. Then for rarer causes for rare causes we can also do one more technique which is called as thirst. Why anal wiring can be done? Thirst anal wiring can be done. So this is rectal prolapse. So this is done in children. What about in adults? For adults, for adults in rectal prolapse, we have two procedures when which can be done. One we can do recto pexy via abdominal approach. that is in rectopexy you will attach the rectum to the nearby structures by sutures or we can also do rectopexy via perineal approach rectopexy via perineal approach should be done now in the rectopexy via abdominal approach this will decrease the recurrence rate then this whereas this there is decreased recurrence rate with rectopexy via abdominal approach whereas via with rectopexy via perineal approach there is increased recurrence rate now rectopexy via abdominal approach they, for this it is associated with high morbidity whereas rectopexy via perineal approach it is associated with low morbidity this rectopexy via abdominal approach it is actually preferred in young patients whereas rectopexy via perineal approach it is actually preferred for old patients and frail patients old and frail patients it is preferred whereas what are the types of rectopexy via abdominal approach if you see the types we have three types which include wells rectopexy then we have abdominal rectopexy then we have ripstein rectopexy wells rectopexy abdominal rectopexy and ripstein rectopexy then we have also have one more type of rectopexy which is resection rectopexy in the resection rectopexy we have one type which is called as goldman and freiberg disease it is goldman and freiberg disease now if you see rectopexy via perineal approach here the types of rectopexy via perineal approach this includes we have again via perineopexy we have three types one we have perineal rectopexy next we have alt alta alt mer 
rectopexy and delor rectopexy these are the rectopexy via perineal approach then we also have one more type of rectopexy via perineal approach which is thirsch anal wiring so these are the important points about rectal prolapse thank you thank you and thank you for watching